To tag a person in a photo on your iPhone or iPad, click on the information icon or swipe up to display the photo's details. The faces identified in the photo should appear in the bottom left corner. You'll notice that some of the faces will have a question mark against them, while others won't. If a face doesn't have a question mark, it means that you've already confirmed the identity of that person and you have options to see more photos of the person or if you've tagged them incorrectly, you can remove the tag. After manually tagging a person, Apple then scans the rest of your photo library and will attempt to automatically identify the same person in your other photos. When that occurs, you can tap on this option to review those automatic tags. Choosing this option limits the amount of times you'll see photos of the person in memories, which is the collection of photos that the app curates for you. If there is a question mark beside the face of the person, it means that you've yet to confirm their identity. Here you can now tag them and thereby confirm their identity by adding their name. If you've tagged them before in a photo or you have them listed as a contact, their name should appear as you start typing. To tag a person on Mac, Apple will either prompt you to add a tag by displaying the person as unnamed, which you can then just click on to add the person's name, or alternatively click on the information icon in the menu and click on the plus button to manually add a tag. You can drag the tag to the person you wish to identify and then resize the tag to capture their face. People that you tag will be displayed in the People album in your library. On iPad, like on Mac, you can access the People album from the left hand menu. On iPhone, click on Albums in the bottom menu and you'll see your tags listed under People and Places. If you sync your photos using iCloud, your tags should also sync across all your devices. From time to time, you'll see this notification in the People's album. My guess is that iCloud only syncs when you're not using the app, or it could be that the automatic scanning and tagging of faces that Apple does in the background only occurs when you're not using the app. From here, you can click on a person to see all the photos they are tagged in. If the app automatically tagged them, you'll see this prompt to review and confirm that the tags are correct. Simply confirm that the tags are indeed correct and click done. You can do the same thing by clicking on the menu icon and choosing confirm additional photos. If you notice someone has been tagged incorrectly, choose review confirmed photos from the menu and deselect the photos with the wrong tag. It's the same process on Mac. You'll be prompted to review other photos of the person and confirm they've been tagged correctly. It's also worth mentioning that you can also tag people in videos and it works exactly the same way. On Mac, you'll be prompted to name unnamed faces and on iPhone and iPad, swipe up to start tagging. Before you go, quite a few people have reported that they've had issues syncing their tagged photos using iCloud. In my testing, I didn't notice this, but I did notice that if you import your photos into your library, rather than taking the photo using the camera, you do have to wait a while before the option to tag someone becomes available. Also, as the prompt suggests, you'll often need to either lock the screen on your iPhone or iPad, or close the Photos app on your Mac to allow the app time to process the changes that you make to your tags. So that is how to tag people in the Photos app. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in a quick way to compare your edited photos to the original and the quick way of resizing your images on a Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.